So I knew this was gonna be a vampire movie, but I had no clue it was gonna be like an urban, like a black take on vampires in New Orleans. Pretty cool. Let's jump into my review of the new film, Black as Night. What's going on everybody and welcome back to the channel today for another review and today we're going to be reviewing the film Black as Night which is part of the Amazon Prime's Welcome to Blumhouse little special event that's going to be uh, releasing or streaming October 1st so yeah you can check it out on Amazon Prime and it's Welcome to Blumhouse thing it's been something that they've been doing for about two years I believe ever since they kind of announced the partnership and whatnot. Um, so this along with like three other movies are going to be releasing over October uh, for you. But yeah, this one, the first one I'm checking out here is Black as Night. And like I said, it's, I knew it was going to be a vampire movie uh, just by the promotional work. But like, it's cool. It's like urban. It's black. It's cultured. Um, it has this little New Orleans, because it's in New Orleans, but yeah, it actually channels a New Orleans vibe to it. So like, I was digging that. I mean, when when the film first starts you hear hip-hop you hear the migos and then the next song is is little baby and then the lingo so it's just like okay they fully dove into the culture here i can get with that i can get with that um but nonetheless uh the film wasn't without flaws for me it was certain aspects to this film that definitely could have been better but um overall i didn't hate this film i didn't love it but i was in i was i was entertained um, I don't think the acting was all that good, but there was two notable characters and actors that really did stand out for me. But overall, there was definitely, it just wasn't a good overall performance by me because some of the dialogue was kind of like, ooh, that's really cringy in the sense of just, it didn't feel natural at all. You know what I mean? But I, I won't focus on that, but I will focus on, uh, you know, with, with our lead here, you know, as she has liked to describe it, this was the year that she had uh, grew, grew breast and fought vampires, amongst other things, to be honest. But, um, yeah, and, you know, she has a mother, which is, this is very typical, a mother or parent, shall I say. But in this case, a mother who is struggling with addiction. You know, it's, it's always the thing. You always got to go to black trauma with stuff, right? Um, and then because they're in New Orleans, then, of course, you have to talk about Katrina, so you have to talk about the effects of Katrina still 15 years later in New Orleans, especially with her mother, who's also dealing with that, which is kind of drove her into um, this being not necessarily homeless, but she is an addict. And, um, you know, one may deem her to be a crackhead, whatever it may be. Um, but another thing that this film explores that I don't really think was necessary but it, here we are was colorism a lot of colorism in this and not just as a as a sense of like it being here but it also was like a specific choice amongst the vampires and who they targeted they, they, they wanted a certain look a certain skin complexion and they also wanted young women which was another thing that was kind of like uh okay so i mean you did have one group of vampires that was targeting that and specifically then you had another group of them that were just homeless vampires that targeted other homeless vampires so i i, I don't know we'll, we'll just go with that um but she was also in love with this guy chris who she was extremely thirsty for so there was this love element in here that i guess we'll just we'll just go with it but her best friend pedro who is her gay best friend who was one of my favorite characters by all means because I feel like the performance was authentic and it added a very good sense of like comedy but like realism to everything so played by Fabrizio Guido um fantastic job in his performance literally, literally one of my favorite characters here but yeah like going back to what I just said a second ago I should state that our main character Shauna is 15 years old uh played by Aja Cooper and I, I still think it was so weird to make it, to, to add the colorism to it and to also, you know, make it relevant that the vampires liked younger women. She's clearly underage. So this makes all of this very 
it, it, this could this could be problematic for some viewers, you know, considering what, what, what what's at stake here, you know. So this, I feel like they're hitting on black trauma a little too hard in this, but it really didn't change the tone. Like I feel like the tone was still very light, comedic, silly, especially when I get to some of the other stuff. But like I just feel like these unnecessary elements probably could have been withheld uh, withheld from all from the film. But then on the other token, I feel like that they also are trying to also exploit the like what's happening in New Orleans with sex trafficking and everything, except they're just you know twisting it with vampires. So I, I kind of see both sides of it, but I don't know. For me, I, I would have went with just completely removing the colorism and um, and the whole underage uh, little pedophile vampire thing. Like I, I would have been cool with that. But anyway. That I mentioned that the vampires are targeting homeless people, crackheads, and bums, whatever it may be. This actually makes her mother, Shauna's mother, a target here, which she becomes a target and ultimately becomes a victim, which now sends her into a path of revenge to figure out who is the leader of these vampires and, you know, you know, even the odds. So that's what's happening here. Now like I said, um, the first part of this film really kind of set the table with tr trying to explain to you who the characters are, what's the plot, uh, and the tone. But then after that, things start to really get on their way. And that's when things really exposes what this film wants to do. And, um, you know, when they start to really show you the vampires and their doings, it's laughable, it's funny, it's comical, and it's corny. I can't even, I can't even front. Like, it's, it's, that's just what it is. But on the other end, one really good thing is Keith David, he's fantastic in this. His makeup design, the FX, special effects and everything, really good. The, the makeup costume design people, they got their money's worth. He looked good and his performance was good. I will say that. When I say he looked good, I'm not saying in the sense of like they had to like put a bunch of makeup on him and, and whatnot. I'm saying that because he's the leader of the vampires. He when he becomes when they when they show him in full vampire, it's really good. It really, really is. But like when it comes down to some of the things I had a problem with, I totally feel like elements of the plot was rushed. I totally feel like um the character development was just like also rushed. You know, they could have definitely explained things a lot better. And then again, I felt like the the, the acting, some of the acting wasn't all the way there and, and the dialogue wasn't really good as well too um amongst the characters like it just did not feel authentic as well but again there was some standouts to it um this film i didn't hate it i didn't love it it was definitely watchable um uh, and i was, again i loved i loved the idea of vampires for the culture that, that was pretty good pretty good um and by the way by everything that was happening in this film i was like you know what i want blade to be in this film let's see if he appears but he didn't appear, but we surely got something very close to it. And I'm happy with that. And then the ending, I thought, was pretty, pretty good. I like how they ended this film. So that's that. But yeah, folks, this is Black as Night, part of Amazon Prime's Walking the Bum House, which is going to be streaming October 1st. Jump in the comments, folks. Let me know your thoughts about this. And as always, stay tuned for more reviews very soon.